Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Monday with Coach A. This is Coach A coming in live from Decap Coffee Republic, the home of certified life coaches here in the Philippines and soon to be global. If this is the first time you're joining me, I am Master Coach A. I am the global partner of the Life Coach Training Institute. And there are two things that I do in behalf of the Institute. I am in charge of the program facilitation here in the Philippines. So for those of you who are interested to become a life coach, then the next batch four, batch 25 here at Decap Coffee Republic is up next. June 17 and 24. So 0917 Get in touch with our very own Coach Rizel. And another thing that I do in behalf of the Institute is we do really advancement of territory. So just in case you're in any parts of the country, you're in any parts of the world, okay, I am the global partner for expansion programs. So if you want to bring life coaching in your territory, please get in touch with us and we will be so in love to work with you. Today, I have on floor my certified life Life coaches and incoming coaches, magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Okay, today we have an ongoing uh, life coaching learning gaps. Okay, we finish smart goal, smarter goal setting, and we will resume at five o'clock for uh, powerful questions and problem solving track so if you are a life coach okay and you're within the area i invite you to come over and join us coaches if you're watching right now mamayang gabi okay uh, for those of you who attended already the problem solving track one thing that i will do tonight is i'm going to share with you my creative problem solving process okay this is exactly what i do okay for my clients okay this is the reason why i'm able to help my clients successfully achieve their goals and because, okay, Monday with Coach A is actually for life coaches, okay, not only of the Life Coach Training Institute, but also for the coaches all across the globe. So if you are a certified life coach, you are a coach by heart, you are a naturally gifted person, and you've been helping people um, in your day-to-day -day life, this Monday with Coach A is specifically for you. Why? Because what I do every Monday is I come in live, okay? My team for Coach A coaching page is, my team every Monday is pay it forward. So this is my pay forward for all the coaches across the globe. And for today, okay, so coaches, okay, even the coaches on floor, okay, you may want to share this to your timeline and to your grouping, okay? What I'm gonna be sharing with you today is my coaching pillars for transformation. Okay, I really use this and this is what I'm, I'm kicking off. I'm taking off for my apprenticeship program, but I'm going to share this with you. Um, I'm going to brace this through because today uh, my topic is unlocking your career growth. Okay, who among you here wants to grow in your career? Who among you here? Like whatever you're doing, maybe you're in business, maybe you're working, maybe you're a freelance. You want to grow with your career, right? Okay, you're a coach, by the way. Okay. Coaching is a career. Coaching is a profession. And all of us wants to unlock. Okay? You want to unlock the key. Okay, now. How many of you here have experience working for other people? Like you've been employed? Get paid. Okay. Have you ever experienced that the people who get promoted at work are the people who are working so hard? Okay? Sabi nila, working so hard or working so hard to be close to the boss? <laughs> First or second? Alright, let me, let me ask again, okay? If you have experienced working in a corporate setup, meaning you are being paid to do the job, okay? We experience that the people, most of the people that get promoted are the people who are working so hard, giving more time, more that is required. Agree, disagree? Agree. Or, okay, people who are working so hard to be close with the approving bodies. Alright, but here's the thing. One thing that you don't see at the backdrop is this. People who get promoted are people who are so great at, excellent at, positioning themselves for promotion. Alright? What you're, you're missing to see is that at any career, in any work, in any job, promotion comes to those people who are able to position themselves, okay, in such a way that the boss, the management, and the approving body get to see them, isn't it? And sometimes you don't see them, but the boss sees them. Sometimes the, the people ask, why she got promoted? Why that man get promoted? He's not doing anything. Yes? Can you connect? It's okay to yes. respond. 
they don't see your face anyhow. That's the beauty, okay? So we don't pan the camera so you can respond, okay? So I'm not gonna call your name so they don't know that you're the one. Yes! Now I'm back. Can you connect with me? Yes. Like, yes. there are people we like, how come that person get promoted? Yes. And then on the side, you say, Mas magaling ako dun eh. Come on now. Yes. All right. So, what do you think happens? These people who got the promotion, who got the raise, these are the people who knows to position themselves exactly for them to be seen, which you don't know. Okay, do you know what these people are doing? Okay. To position yourself for promotion, for improvement, for growth, you have to position yourself where you're helping and people see the results of your help. You're helping and the people see the results of your help. That's why there are people that the boss will promote because that person was able to help the boss in the past and the boss experience result. It doesn't matter if you didn't experience the result as long as the approving body experienced the result. Are you getting this? Okay, so I'm not gonna talk about office politics. Okay, not no, no. Okay, what I'm gonna share with you here is I believe all of us wants to position ourselves. Coach Candy, I missed you. Bakit wala siya dito ngayon? Driving to DCAP, okay. What I'm gonna share with you today is that to position yourself in a state, all right, that you're really right, gonna be right for promotion, for improvement, for recognitions, and really getting the share that you have. Ajay na si Coach Candy. Hi, Coach Candy. <laughs> okay, do you want that? Okay. Early on, before I went on live, I asked my on-floor By the way, meron po talaga akong on-floor guest. Kasi yung pumalakpak. Meron po talaga. This is not a can sound. So meron po akong kasama dito. Okay, if you are watching online, um, I don't have my, uh, I have Raj, Coach Raj with me assisting. So if you have questions, you can type in your questions. Uh, we will try to answer it. But if not, I will respond to you personally right after my class. So mamayang mga hating gabi pa po yan. But I will respond, promise. All right, so... I want you to look at this that you are supposed to be in a position to help people truthfully okay not just for the heck of being seen in the limelight okay what I wanted to help you now okay listen up if you're a you're a coach uh, wanna be coach or maybe you are a coach at your own rank okay this one okay what I'm gonna share with you is something that you can use immediately and if you only listen carefully I'll bet you'll get a client you want that yes. okay here's the thing many times we missed to help people effectively because we really don't know what's going on with the person initially before I went online I asked you when was the last time you helped a person Okay, who was the last person you helped? And exactly, what was the help you've given to the person? How were you able to evaluate that's the kind of help the person need? Were you able to use a tool? Were you able to use it, um, a resources? Or meron ba kayong matrix na ginamit? Paano nyo nalaman that you are giving the exact help the person need? Anyone? Feeling nyo lang. Gut feel ko lang. Isn't it? Yeah, but most of the time we realize that the person, whatever we say we need, it's not exactly what we need. Isn't it true? Yes. Isn't it true? Yes. Diba? Many times people would say, I need money. But if you give the money, the, pro the person will still have the, pro the, the problem. Because money is not a problem. Am I correct? Yes. Okay. Let me come and tell you that whenever a person asks for help, okay, or whenever a person is in need of help, that person is in need of a transformation in his or her life. Okay? What you normally what you hear is the change. Diba? I need change. That's why life coaches we are called change agents. But this is how I, I, I see it. Change, okay, is something that's external at times. But when we talk about transformation, you're talking about of the inside out. You're talking about of what happens inside and what happens on the outside. So I want to dive in and tell you what happens when a person comes to you and that person needs transformations in their lives. Are you ready? Okay. How many times you met a person who's confused? 
Confused. Who met a person who's confused? Okay. How does a person who's confused looks like? Come on, come on, come on. Uh, look at myself. Sabi ng mga guests. Okay. Have you met? Coach Romel Kapungol. God bless me. Okay. Thank you, Coach. Thank you for tuning in. Have you met a person who's confused? Are you confused? Yes. Okay. Okay. If you say... <laughs> Ang lakas. Okay. Once in your life, you met a person who's confused. Can you figure... Can you picture that face of a confused person? Huwag niyo titigan yung katabi niyo. Ang ginawa, humakumuha daw na salamin. Coach, ito yan o. Ito, this face. You're getting... Can you remember a person? Okay. How many times you met a person who's anxious? Not with anxiety, depression, or anxiety or depression or anxiety. Just anxious, worried. Sabi yung coach, parang ako yun eh. I'm teaching you. Hindi ko kayo, kayo talaga. You're getting this? Okay. How many times you met a person or maybe have you met a person in the past? Hindi kayo yun. Hindi kayo yun. Maximum level, super level resistance. Resistant to change. Okay? Yung lahat ng bagay nilalabanan. Pag sinabi mong kaliwa, kanan. Pag sinabi mong abante, atras. Pag sinabi mong galaw, hinto. Pag sinabi mong hinto, galaw. Resistant. Come on now. Madami yan, hindi ikaw. Hindi, hindi kayo yan. Mababait ang mga coaches namin dito sa bahay. How many times, or maybe in the past, you met someone utterly frustrated? Punong-puno ng frustration sa buhay. Ang dami talagang kwento, ang daming reklamo. Frustrated. Meron? Can you picture a person? Nakita niyo yung face? Okay. And nakakita na po ba kayo ng tao na ang dami, 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 sinimulan. Walang natutuloy. Palakpakan yes! natin, mabuhay! It means you and I are not alone in this world. Yeah! Well, that's the beauty of life coaching. Okay, your life coaches are not flawless individuals. We're not flawless, we're not perfect, but we're people with a heart for change and transformation. Put that in your heart, okay? So you don't ask, why do you coach me? Why can you coach me? You're not perfect. So no one is perfect if, because if we're rich perfections, then we must be in heaven by this time, okay? We're not perfect, but we know how to help you, okay? Coaches, you have a picture of frustrated person? You have a picture of confused person? You have a picture of person with anxiety attack or anxious and so worried? Yes. You have a picture of a person who's resistant to things? Yes. Maganda pangit, ayaw. And you've met people who've been going through the roller coaster ride of starting but not ending? Starting and with abrupt ending? Now, meron ganun eh, nagsimula naman pero abrupt yung ending. Tama? Okay. Now, all of those feelings, all those emotions, all those manifestations, all those things that you encounter is because, okay, one or two or many of the pillars for transformation is absent with that person. And when you get to understand what is missing, what is the need of that person, definitely you will be able to help the person excellently, effectively, and productively. Is that something you want to learn today? Yes. Okay, let's begin. Okay. Sino dito ang naging na-confuse ka na? Lagi akong confused, coach. Okay. The pillar, okay, the five pillars for transformation, for change, for growth, for development are this. Vision, skills, inspiration, tools, and execution. Let me repeat. Vision, skills, inspiration, tools, and execution. A person is confused only because 
the vision is not set. You can only be confused, not because you have many options, not because there are selections of countless of things. You can only be confused if your vision is not inside, if your vision is not firmly set, if your vision is in question, if your vision is not really solid and rock, rock solid. Okay, picture it out. The last person you help with who's confused, did you ever get to the point of asking the person, ano ba talaga yung vision mo? Sino dito ang na-encounter na, na mo na? You encountered someone who's having relationship problems. Relationship problems. Coach, ako yun. Relationship problems with parents. Relationship with problems with siblings, with spouses, with fiancé. Or workmates, right? And they're just like so confused and tell you, hindi ko na talaga alam ko anong gagawin ko dyan sa taong yan. Sounds familiar? Did you get to ask that person, what is your vision about this relationship? What is it that you want to achieve? Isn't it many times we want to be right even at the expense of losing the relationship? Many times I would ask a client, I would do this when I do counseling before in the church, and people would say, I'm right, da 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 da, and everything. I would always ask the person in front of me and say, Is it important to be right, or is it important for you to save your relationship? And now, as a coach, made me really be firm that the best way to begin with the journey to begin with whatever we want to achieve in life is to have that vision in place. Think about it. If the last person you help is confused, did you get to the point of asking, ano ba talaga yung gusto mong mangyari? Ano ba yung vision mo about this thing? You're confused if you're gonna live or continue with the job you're having today. What is your professional vision? How do you see yourself five years from now? You're confused if you're gonna end an abusive relationship or not. How do you want to see yourself being a, in a family of abusive person? If you are in a, in a company of toxic friends, what is your vision of being in a company of friends that will lift you up? What is your vision for your relationship? What is your vision for yourself? What is your vision for your career? What is the vision of that person? So how can you help a person who's confused if that person have no clarity about the vision? Are you getting this? Confusion comes from lack of vision. Confusion comes from vision that maybe needs calibration. By the way, some visions need are still there, but you need to recalibrate it. Your vision when you were single might have changed now that you're married. Your Nagre-react talaga ang mga single in the house getting married. Totoo yun. When you get married, when you start a family, now you have yourself, your spouse, and your children. Correct? Okay. Or maybe your vision is so clear, but when God blessed you with a, a child with special needs or a child who's so special, a genius, then your vision of how you would raise a kid would have changed. Are you getting this? So your vision needs recalibration, and if you don't recalibrate that, then confusion arises. Make sense? Yes. yes. All right. Sino dito ang nakakita na ng taong anxious? Worry ng worry. Isip ng isip. You keep thinking. Okay. The source of that anxiousness the source of that anxiety feeling, anxiety attack. I'm not saying that you have anxiety disorder, okay? Anxiety is an emotion. Right? It's a feeling. And it can be steady, it can be prolonged, it can be situational. Okay? So, when you're feeling this anxiety or you're anxious about things, sino dito nakakita na ng anxious na tao? Yung punong-puno ng worry sa sarili. Okay? You know why? Where is this coming from? This is coming from having a vision and realizing, understanding 
that you lack the skills to make it happen. Skill sets. It is the skills that you have that cause you to be anxious. When you don't have the skills needed to achieve that, you start worrying. Isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Because if, think about it. The goal is to teach someone to swim. And you are a swimmer. You're an international swimmer with medals and all. Will you be anxious to teach someone to swim? No. But what if you've never swim? And then sabi nung nanay mo, turuan mo mag-swim. You start being worried because you don't have the skills. Okay. The problem or the, the, the thing with transformation, every transformation requires new set of skills. Okay. Let me repeat that. The thing with transformation, the thing with growth, the thing with development, it would always require a new set of skills, skill sets. So, if you are not working on your skill sets, obviously, the more you see your vision, the more you, you see what you want to achieve in life, you will be anxious. Because now you're seeing, I don't have it. How can I make it happen? Yes? yes. That's why, okay, you keep saying, I want it, but I don't have it. I want it, pero. Anong gusto mo sa buhay? What do you want in life? You can't even answer because what you're thinking, am I capable of that? You will not be as anxious. You're anxious of the different. You're anxious of things that you don't have confidence you have. Coach, i-coach mo ako ngayon para maging akong negosyante. Ay, kaya-kaya ko yan. Pero pag sinabi mo ako, Coach, coach me to sing. Oh my goodness. You will really give me the, my anxiety because I don't know that. You are only gonna be anxious about things you don't have a skill. Ganda na isip ni Coach Rod. Yes. Am I making sense, coaches? Can you connect with this? Yes. Imagine the last person you help with who's worried or maybe ikaw yun. Why are you so worried about achieving things? Why are you so worried about the growth? Why are you so worried about your, your goals in life? It's because you're concerned about your skill sets. You're getting this? So take an inventory of your skill sets. Next. Sino dito ang nakatagpo na? Nakadaupang palad. Okay. You met someone who's highly resistant. Highly resistant. Some people would say indifferent. Okay. Other forms would be arrogant. Other forms would be prideful. Ayun yung mga terms nyo. Right? Or hard-headed. Okay? Or walang pakisama. Right? Okay, well, however you want to call them. They're just resistant. Why do you think they're resistant? Why do you think they're resistant? Come on now. Fear of change. Why do you think they're fear of change? You're, you're good. You're right. You're, they're fearing change. Okay, here's the thing. A person who's resistant is actually lacking motivation. Now, why? A person who have no motivation is coming from a point of doubting himself or herself. Think about it. You have a goal. You have a vision. You want to achieve something. Or there is a task that needs to be accomplished. Think about what would happen if you know inside of you that you have all the self-limiting beliefs and doubts that you are capable of having that. Will you be inspired? Will you be motivated? So if you're not inspired, you're not motivated, what would be your response? Resist. Resist. That's not for me. I don't want that. I will not try. You resist. Because deep inside you, you're not inspired to take the route. You're not inspired to take the risk. You're not inspired to dive in 
because truth of the matter, you're doubting yourself capable of having it. And I know you're quiet because this one really is ouch. Yeah. As simple as you may think of inspiration, really, that's why our battle cry in the coffee shop is be inspired, be transformed. Because inspiration is not just you being, oh, I'm happy, he's cute. I, no, 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 that's not. <laughs> Are we talking? Because people have a limited thinking when you talk about inspiration. You think that when you, you drive a beautiful car, when you're dating a handsome man, or when you get promoted, you believe inspiration is there. Am I correct? Yes. But have you seen people who's making a lot of money, driving beautiful car, like having everything in their lives, but not inspired? Yes. Yes? yes. Because truth of the matter, it comes from their self-limiting beliefs. It is themselves whom they are doubting. It's not about you. It's not about what they receive in life. It is not about the experiences. It's not about their accolades. It's not about their success. It's about how they see themselves. You can only be truly inspired if you believe that you are capable. Yes? So, take an inventory of your self-limiting beliefs, your doubts, your doubts about yourself. That is the one hindering, ham, you know, that comes in between. Or sabi nga ni Glenda kanina sa pag dahilan, you, you know, your obstacles, your stumbling block for you to proceed in life. Are you getting this? Yes, Coach. Okay. Utterly frustrated people. Nagkakita na kayo nun? Frustrated people? Anong itsura ng mga frustrated people? <laughs> okay. Frustration stem from lacking of tools. Tools. If you don't have the tools, if you don't have the right resources with you, you will be frustrated with your vision. Do you see this? Like, there's so many dreams. Then you cast the vision. Then you start the goal. And then you start realizing, I don't have the tools. I don't have the resources. What do you think with the person will feel frustrated because now you feel I have everything like I have a vision I'm skilled I believe I can make it eh wala kang tools eh comes frustration so the next time you meet someone who's frustrated do the inventory of the tools resources the person has because most probably, the tools needed to achieve a goal is not available. That's why the person is frustrated. And finally, all the people in the house with countless of false start. What's the problem? What's the limitations that you encounter? The execution. No matter how great your vision is, how skilled you are, how inspired you are, you've got all the tools available. If you don't have the skill sets or the idea, the mindset, the framework to execute a project, you're not going to make it. And so, you will have a count, countless and series of false starts. Are you getting this? Okay. If you work with a client who keeps starting and not able to finish, what is it that you have to work with? The execution. Execution. All the four starts doesn't mean the vision is wrong. Doesn't mean the skills are not there. The tools are not there. It's just the execution. So, wag yung palakihin yung problema. It's just the execution. Let's work on the execution. Focus on the execution, coaches. That's why the client needs help. You meet someone who's frustrated. Dive into the tools. 
dive into the resources, dive into what's available, then you end the frustration. You start working and the client comes to you with all the resistance in the world, trust me, that person have so much self-limiting beliefs. That person do not believe in themselves. That person do not trust herself or himself. That person is lacking or doubting what he or she is capable. Anxiousness comes only from skills. Whenever a person feels that he or she is skilled, got the skill. You know what, what's the beauty of skills? Skills is ikaw, it's yours. You don't need anything, skills is yours. You're able to nurture it, you're, you're able to fine tune it because it's yours. You don't need other people to strengthen the skills because that's yours. So that's what happened. If you don't have the skills, definitely you will be confused. Because the very thing that would just anchor you to your vision is not there. So when you work with the skills, if you help your client get into the skill sets that they need, confusion will immediately end. Because truth of the matter, our clients know exactly what they want. It's just that they're afraid because they don't have the skills. Agree, disagree. Agree. Coaches, how many of you have the vision set? I want to be a great coach. I want to be a good coach. I want to be better than Coach A. So why are you confused if you want to take coaching or not? Because you look at your skill set and say, I don't have that skills. Am I correct? Yes. And you say, Coach, I'm confused if I want to do coaching or not. You're not confused because to begin with, you already invested on your certification class. Meaning you are so sure coaching is for you. You only got confused because when you look at other people, you say, my skills are not enough. So if, if it's not enough, what do you do? What do you do? Strengthen your skills. Because skills is yours. No one, here's the thing. No one can take away the skills from you. But no one can also give it to you. But someone, or a lot of people can help you strengthen your skills. But skills is not a gift. A gift from people, it's a gift from God. And you, God have already given you a skill that you need to nurture so it becomes a manifestation of your daily living. Meron ka na talaga noon. It's just that you have to work it out. So hindi siya parang magaling siyang kumanta, pakibigay sa akin yung galing mong kumanta. Walang ganun. You're skilled at art. You're skilled at create, creating this. Hindi mo yan pwedeng ibigay sa ibang tao. But that person, you can help to nurture that skill sense. Are you getting this? And of course, the vision Trust me, without the vision, you will perish. We will all perish. You may have everything, but if you don't have the vision where to use it, it's not going to work. So, vision, skills, inspiration, tools, and execution equals transformation. The next time somebody approach you for coaching, or maybe it's you, the next time you want to look into why transformation is not happening into your life? Check. How are you feeling today? Are you confused? Are you anxious? Are you resistant? Are you frustrated? Or are you experiencing false start? What are the, what are the, one of the things that you are experiencing from the five pillars? Because definitely one or two of these pillars are not set in place. That's why transformation is yet to begin. So if you have the vision, you have the skills, you have the inspiration, the tools, and you can execute, definitely transformation begins. I'm going to take off from Rich Levin, the prosperous coach. He said, after taking certification, three things happen to you. You become either a personal growth coach, meaning you use coaching skills, discipline, resources for your own growth as a person. You use it for yourself, for your office, okay, for your family, for your church. That's a personal growth coach. Or you become a part-time coach, 
meaning you keep your profession. If you are a manager of a BPO now, you're still a BPO manager. If you are a nurse, you're still a nurse. Okay. If you're a doctor, you're still a doctor. But you practice coaching, and you get paid on it, like you monetize it. And the third is you become a professional full-time coach. I am. Okay. So here's the thing. Either of the three, whether you end up as a personal growth coach, a part-time coach, a full-time coach. As a coach, our role is to help people. Our role is to help people. And how do we help people? We help facilitate the transformation and the transitions that they want to happen in their lives. And if you talk about transformation, you work with a client, please do not progress without you having a clear understanding if any of the five pillars is in place. Have a great understanding, like really work on, don't rush the process, understand. Is it the vision, the skill, the inspiration, the tools, or just the execution? Because if you just make use of the five pillars, definitely you can start coaching tomorrow. And that's my heart for all of you. Coaching is a very profound, very profound profession. Not because this is something that monetizes and gives us a lot of money, but to, yes, of course, this gives us a lot of money, but coaching is really one profession that gives you the fulfillment, the satisfactions, and really the joy of being a catalyst of change and the person who can make change happen for other people. Not because we give advice, not because we mentor, not because we do consultancy, but because we empower the person in front of us to know what they really want in life and to move from point A to point B simply because that person is capable. All you need to do is to give the permission for that person to grow and to reduce all the noise that's keeping the person from being the best person of himself or herself. At the end of the day, life coaching is something that will work if only your client and you are willing to take the process, trust the process towards transformation. This is Coach A, your change agents in action. Maganda na po po sa inyo lahat. See you again next Monday.